Hey gang, how are we all? Welcome to the London vlog. I am here for Decorex, but also a little bit of a fun shopping trip, as you do in London. Um, I'm staying in H10 Hotels, which I stayed in last time, but I am somehow in the fanciest suite in the building. I don't know how, but you need to see the view behind me. But this is my bed, and the mirror, obviously, the view here. <laughs> No, but look at this, literally the view of London. I cannot cope. And there's the wheel. I don't know if you can see it there because of the sun. Don't get me wrong, it's absolutely sweating in here. But I cannot believe how unbelievable this hotel is. What the hell? Like, I like I've stayed here before, but never in this room. It's absolutely gorgeous. I didn't realise how warm it would be down south because obviously I'm from north up north that sounds a bit weird saying that but i'm really excited i'm gonna head now to like all the home shops go to selfridges and all things like that maybe grab a drink um but i am sweating it's the sun in this room so i might have to the blinds when i go out but <gasps> live your life within the moment moment and don't go wait until the morning morning you never know when it is over over all that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away Not a older Not a older Not to the groove and the light that flickers We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker Get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter In the air, can't stay oh my god, Jews, this Fortnum and Mason is absolutely, ridiculously unreal Look at all them Christmas trees I am literally, I can't speak and they've got absolutely unreal um, spoods. Now, I'm not going to lie, these are, they sell these spoods in um, Home Sense. And look at that carriage. It's unreal. I think I'm going to treat myself to a bauble today, you know. I'm going to get one. No use. How gorgeous are them initials? They've got my name on my initial. I don't know how much they are. It doesn't say. But I absolutely love it. The kids give me like Tiffany vibes. Obviously, it's like Fort and Mason anyway. Oh my God, Jews, you've got it. I think I'm going to get it for the tree. I've wanted one of these for so long. Look how beautiful these decorations are. I actually can't cope. Oh my god, they've got a little afternoon tea as well. No, that is so, oh my god, look at the detail in that. That is incredible. Do I get a basket? I think for like 18, oh my god, they've got, used to be 18 pounds, 20 quid. Really, for me tree? Am I going to be that person, potentially? Wow, they've got crackers. £150. You must fucking get gold in these. What the hell? Oh, okay. You could get one of these gifts. Queen Bee Cream. Okay. I mean, you get candles, honey. There's all sorts. Oh, this one's the gin. Oh, okay. I'm sold. Gin crackers. £150. Okay, I'm sold. Oh, how gorgeous are they? I just love the design of them. I just could never use them though, you know? Like, I could never crack them because they're that pretty, do you know what I mean? To be fair though, you do get good bits in them. Maybe they're the nicest crackers I've ever seen. Okay, maybe this is my favourite. Look at all them little accessories you get in the Fortnum and Mason. No use. That is what I bought from HomeSense. It's £275. You could literally do that yourself. It's just like poopery. Isn't that mad? Also, I'm a bag of nerves because I've got the new, my new phone. I'm scared of dropping it, but there's carpet in here. They thought of me, didn't they? Oh my god, Jews, look at these advent calendars. They are ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't open the drawer. So, you get all of these, like, liqueurs. That one's £250. That's, like, the going rate for one of these. And then on the other side, you can get, like, vodka, chardonnays, honeys, butters, chocolate, all sorts. They are unreal. I can't go. I just want it for show. But for £250, can I just try it now? I'm sorry, the attention to detail, incredible. I just love this. Checkerboard is obviously in this year, but the fact that they're mixing it into Christmas, oh my god, like, incredible. I feel like this is a famous designer's stuff though. I can't think of his name, but he always puts stuff on selfages, it's always really expensive. And I'm scared to touch anything, because I genuinely think this is probably a fortune. I knew it. It's Mackenzie Child stuff, I just knew it. Can you cope with them reindeers? <gasps> 
got but 140 pounds but still unreal oh my god the frog now the sheep <gasps> oh my god Use. this is incredible i actually really like them shop but i actually love them no it's the sheep you know it's giving me lorna lux vibes So I'm literally so rushed for time. So I've got a table booked in sticks and sushi. I absolutely love it. So I've just changed my outfit. I've left all my jewellery at home unless I've worn it and I'm fuming. And I've literally just got this little set on from Zara and some boots, not on crazy. I'm just taking my bag that I've already got. Um, I hope I got enough content today. If I didn't, it will be on my Instagram or TikTok. So if you're not following me there, make sure you do. But obviously today was just like shopping and things like that. Obviously I'm here for the event on tuesday and wednesday so and i'm just not over the views outside this room i still can't believe by the way that i'm in this room like i've just paid for a standard room so it must be the gift of the gap absolutely amazing look at the view of london like oh, i just want to live here so bad so there's the london eye if anyone might not know obviously and then the shard is just there behind this building everyone's gone inside now because it's absolutely freezing we got here quite late but it's open till 11 which is amazing i'm just gonna go in and have a porn star martini and then i'm gonna catch up with you to tell you all about my day and i'm so excited tomorrow because tomorrow is the first day of decorex well it's been on for a few days but it's the first day i'm going for how amazing hi i have no makeup left how funny i actually look like a ghost in this bathroom the light in here is shocking i don't think i did a tour of the bathroom earlier so i might actually do that later and actually put it at the front you will never know um so i'm just taking my makeup off for anyone who wants to know i use this elemis collagen um cleansing balm which by the way every influencer uses and obviously i jumped on the bandwagon and I don't know why I didn't ever use it to be honest. I got it for Christmas and I've never looked back since. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. Um, but anyway, it's been an amazing day in London. I hope it showed you enough context. I've just been for my tea in sticks and sushi, which by the way has the most amazing sushi. Like if you're in London, I literally rate that sushi so so much. And like, yeah, it's amazing. And then I've just been to the Waterloo Sky Bar. So hopefully you've seen all that content. Um, I feel like at the beginning of this video, I didn't really say why I was here. Or did I? Um, I'm basically here for um, the Decorex event in London, which is a big interior design event. It's every year. Um, and last time we only came for one day, but this time I'm coming for two. But I'm actually here for three days, but today was just like a shopping day, as I said. Um, but I'm going yeah, to Decorex. I'm so excited. I'm especially excited for tomorrow because I am going to this VIP thing, which is the founder of Mulberry is doing a talk and to say I'm excited is an understatement like I just can't wait to be motivated like I just feel like he's going to inspire me in another way and I'm really excited for it um but I feel really motivated today as well not motivated like inspired that's the word it's not motivated because I am a motivated person inspired and I love coming to these events because sometimes you're sort of like in your own not circles but like like stuck <laughs> i don't want to say stuck but like obviously you're just a limp girl and like it's kind of like a very small niche what i do so to come into like the city and to like see all different people especially to speak to on instagram as well i've had the way i'm just speaking with this cleansing box so let me just take this off so i feel like i'm doing something at the same time anyway when i used to come to these events i used to feel like really inspired in terms of like because i used to do visual merchandise and i used to feel really inspired to like go back and do like visual things because like obviously i went to that thought and i'm amazing and um, but it's just a totally different like spectrum of inspiration i feel like it depends like what you're doing at that time this is silly life <laughs> 
No, do you know what? It's so mad, this hotel. Like, I'm literally like 12 floors up. The view is stunning. Like, I'm sure you've seen it. I'm staying in this H10 hotels, which you stayed in last time. But the room, this room I did not get last time. Like, I don't know what it was, but like, now all of a sudden I'm an exclusive member and go in the sky bar and things like that yeah i went to the sky bar tonight i think you've just seen that i don't know i'm literally four porn star martinis in so i could be saying anything at this point this all could be cropped for all i know oh celine is it mason oh i don't know how you say it i went to before as well they were so strict in there they were like um what did she say she was like can you not take pictures of our clients and i thought i'm not I'm taking pictures of your books like i don't know it's just a bit weird but like it's so weird because like sometimes I feel very comfortable filming in places and sometimes I go to bits and after she said made that comment I felt like really nervous then to like even pick up my phone, do you know what I mean? So I think it threw me for the day. But anyway, I'm just chatting rubbish now. I am gonna put my pajamas on, gonna maybe pop something on, on Disney or something to help me get to sleep. Wake up in the morning and have my get myself ready obviously, have brekkie and then go to Decorex Day One, which by the way they're doing a collab with Stella McCartney for like the coffee area and it looks amazing. And I'm obviously so excited for the talks and just to meet like minded people in this industry. Um but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna stop waffling now i'm gonna wash my face yeah i'll probably crop off of this house who knows but yeah i'm excited for day two so i will see <laughs> so much work goes into these things so there's the talks where they are in the corner and i absolutely love the look of this stand here i, don't, I can't zoom in but yeah there's some unreal lighting stands and just gorgeous places to visit so i've just been to a talk then um and now i'm gonna go downstairs and see what there is um to have a little look at maybe speak to some brands it's really an exciting event i'm here for two days so this is day one um, and there's some good talks on as well. I'm also going to the VIP Mulberry event later on as well, which I'm really excited for. And there's also a Stella McCartney cafe. I need to go and change that as well, so yeah. It's basically the Cole and Son Stella McCartney collab. Um, it's a cafe, but it's actually just their wallpaper, but it is stunning. Live in the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Let us dance this But it doesn't matter Till the air can stand Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning you never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older Oh my god, Jews. I'm just going to the next tour and then I'm going to try and get loads of filament of everywhere for you. It might be have been put in before this. I've done the stupidest thing. I bought tickets to go and see Pretty Woman tonight and I bought them for last Tuesday. So I'm very emotional right now. I don't know what's up with me, but I've literally just had to ring a ticket helpline. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, he just rang um, a lovely lad's gonna try and see what he can do for us. I've cried, you, why am I this emotional? I'm not even due on. Sorry for the TMI for any boys watching, but like, I don't know why, just, it's just triggered me. I just went, oh, but the past me. Um, but anyway, it's, it is what it is, so. 
I'm going to watch this talk on fashion in interiors and I'm hoping I get some ideas. Fashion in interiors actually go hand in hand and also I feel like I'm not bothered about people looking at me which is nice for one to fill them in. Um, but yeah, there's a big queue at the talk at the moment. I think I'll still get a good seat. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to show you all the stalls. And I've just tried to get a picture by that tree where everyone was eating their buddies. Um, I mentioned it on Instagram, basically they did this tree where you could take a selfie, but they didn't actually, um, like you couldn't get a picture because people were eating the sandwiches on the display. So I don't appreciate the design of that. Um, so I didn't really get a, a good picture. But anyway, I'm gonna try and go into this talk now. Um, I'd love to be a guest on one of these talks. Maybe I should manifest it. people I feel like people always say oh it's so easy people who vlog like it's not easy at all like I've it's proven difficult as you can tell from the vlog footage so far I actually hope it's good I could be saying this and it could be really good um anyway so today obviously you've seen that I went to Decorex for anyone who doesn't know Decorex I went last year as well um you can check out that video as well because that's a really good video too um yeah, so it's like an interior design event. You can meet suppliers, network with interior people, can't speak, um, and also go to amazing talks. So I went to a few. I went to um, one with... So I went to one with Henry Holland. You probably have called that. Um, and he used to own House of Holland, which I never knew. Basically sold the company and now he's doing interior bits. So he was in fashion, then went into interiors, which was really insightful as just learning about how like fashion and interiors are very much the same but a little bit different as well but it was really really good and then i went to an amazing talk with roger sal i think i said his name right who owns mulberry he actually doesn't own it anymore which i never knew he sold it years ago i think he said 2003 which i never knew but he was telling us all about the journey in mulberry and you know it was so motivating to hear of how like 
rocky as rides was with mulberry like you wouldn't ever imagine i suppose as consumers when you see the end product we don't actually see the journey but it really inspired me because i know for a fact there'll be people watching this who might be down and like maybe suffering in business or wanting to take the next step and he made decisions based off millions and millions of pounds and i know that like that's not a financial concern of mine <laughs> which would be just some would say nice to be in that position to lose out on millions because you've got millions but like i know a lot of people may be down about things that aren't working out for them in their own business and it might be millions but it might just be like small aspects i feel like i'm, I'm meant to say this better and it just hasn't turned out but what i'm basically trying to say is go for it because look at mulberry like look at mulberry that's it also explain it like you had to be there <laughs> obviously i was lucky too but it was such an amazing experience like imagine having a talk with the founder of mulberry like oh my god learn so much just even about like going through big things in business and there's always going to be ups and downs and i suppose when you're in it yourself like i know a lot of people probably watching this are in this business either interior design or separate it doesn't really doesn't matter because obviously he was fashion but he went through so much and as a consumer you only see the end product you don't actually see all the struggles or like the copycats in the fashion industry and like he get, went through so much and sometimes i get myself down in my own life and probably you do too but like probably shouldn't do you know what i mean like it will all work out in the end for the best and yeah all pats and mad and just work out um but also whilst i was there i basically got swilled and basically i went to the vip section who am i you've probably seen that i know i keep saying it but <laughs> who am i in the vip section you know what i mean um yeah i went there and i thought oh my god this is gonna be a fab experience i got swilled i know like 700 like prosecco glasses this woman knocked over she didn't even say sorry now i'm not the type of girl to be like bothered by anything like that like you know accidents happen you know and i just think imagine if i'd have been a bit of a hoity-toity one and i mean like for human like i thought i was so chill about it but you know it costs not to say sorry does it anyway i had leather pants on i was thinking ahead so i only had to wipe the prosecco off that happened then I had tickets booked for Pretty Woman and just by chance I just thought, you know what, I'll, this was literally straight after the Prosecco incident happened. I thought, you know what, I'll book my tickets to see when, like, what, what, when I need to get there. I booked my tickets for last Tuesday, not today. So I had a big mare. I got upset. <laughs> Embarrassing, I know. Um, yeah, I got upset <laughs> in general because I feel mortified. It was just a clear and emotional moment. And, um... Yeah, and you had to go through this big A30 thing. I had to pay more money to get them swapped into the night. But anyway, I went to see Pretty Woman as you've seen. I love Pretty Woman. It's a fab film. Um, yeah, it's one of my faves. I'd say a top five chick flick, if you know, you know. And yeah, I was boss. Would recommend if you're in London or want to see Pretty Woman and the musical, just as good as the film. It was amazing. So yeah. And I just got back to the hotel and tomorrow is my last day here. Um... See, so, there is talks on Decorex tomorrow that I wanted to go to, but I also want to go and see Harrods Christmas. What is swaying me more? Harrods Christmas, correct. You are right. You are correct. Um, so I might go to Harrods Christmas instead. What can you do? But anyway, I'm going to take makeup off and stop chatting. I feel like this has been more of a chatty vlog than an actual, like what it was supposed to be vlog but sometimes it's hard to film and i want to explain myself as to me day and things like that so yeah i'm going home tomorrow but i'm going to inspiration to wholesale christmas event if you know you know if you're on this channel so either this video will be up or the inspiration to wholesale first if not the other way around but it's honestly such a busy week like this is the biggest busiest week in my weekly calendar like i'm doing something every day this week which is obviously boss but it's madness also what am i drinking you are wondering so obviously you know i'm vegan and it's so difficult to find a really nice vegan hot chocky so i popped into i can never say anything right the wittards which by the way i worked in home since as we all know and we used to sell this not this obviously the vegan hot chocolate but i think it was like eight or nine pounds and i sold the caramel hot chocolate and i just came home well, came home came back to the hotel to put it on and wow like It's different. By the way, I realise I've got no makeup on, but I've already done this film, and so um, it's absolutely not a hand to. It is what it is, and this is how I look, so deal with it. Anyway, I'm rambling on, but I will check back in with you tomorrow. So now
human are you that it is my last day here in london because i'm gonna cry oh my god there's a plane taking off <laughs> this room by the way i don't know whether i said but it's h10 hotels in london i don't know whether i said or not and um, but this is the view i'm gonna show you it again because it's an absolutely gorgeous morning there's the eye this is like the nicest suite bear in mind i booked a standard room so either i've got really good gifts to the gab or it was just going to be do you know what I mean? So yeah, this is like the executive suite and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I manage this. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm supposed to go to Decorex again today. Um, but there was only one talk that I wanted to go to. And by the time I got there and faffed about and got the train home because I'm going to the Inspirations Wholesale Christmas event tonight, then it would just not have been like worth my time at all. So I decided instead that I'm going to go to Harrods Christmas because why not so i'm going to take his day with me then i'm getting the train home rushing home and then going to inspirations christmas event it's literally when i say this is the busiest week of my year literally i do not have a minute but i've enjoyed every single minute of it oh my god there's another plane taking off you guys wherever you're going take me with you um yeah so anyway this room i'm sorry i'm just like looking at the eye like imagine like living here i'm manifesting it right now honestly like this would be my dream anyway um i absolutely struggled to get this case as you may have just seen um but i'm about to check out i've got a blazer but i feel like it's going to be a bit warm for a blazer so i'm not sure drink bag it's all a go I'm just getting dressed with me basically but yeah um i hope you're loving the vlog but we will we will commence oh we can't even see me we will continue in Harrods. Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away 